Hey there everyone, this is going to be a little video um, just to kind of uh, show the steps that I did to get the uh, mobile scene to work for this uh, uh, low poly landscape set. Uh, I will be submitting this scene into the package and once it gets updated and approved and all that it will be available for everyone. But if you'd like to get this uh, working in the meantime, um, this is kind of the steps. So this is my final uh, finished scene um, uh, that I got working. So I switched my, uh, my player to Android. Um, I threw in the dual touch controls uh, prefab that's available under standard assets. Um, let me show you here. If you go under standard assets, this should be imported into the project that I gave you. Um, if it's not in there, you can um, import the cross -im platform input um, little thingy that Unity has. So I put in the dual touch controls uh, dude right here. So that, um, that adds this ginormous canvas. I don't know why the canvas is so ginormous, but that's how Unity likes it. Um, so anyways, that's just to kind of get the touch controls, but if you guys have your own touch controls, you can ignore that part of it. Um, so the scene is fairly heavy um, with the demo scenes that I gave you. Um, and, um, uh, you know, by default, if you try and make an Android package, it probably will crash out on you or whatever, because it's like 400 megs or something like that uh, when you first make it, if you just do one of the scenes. Um, but let's take a look at what you can do to get it up and running. So obviously phones are not going to be as um, as mighty as um, a desktop. So uh, where are you? Project view. All right. So let's go down to one column here. I'm just going to open up the um, just the regular day scene here. So that's it. Um, it may run through some lighting and stuff like that when you first get it. So obviously it's going to be super saturated. Uh, so I save my scene as just to have a, a new mobile version. Um, what you're going to want to do is open up your lightings panel. So go to Windows uh, Lighting if you don't have it up already. And on the bottom here under Build, you're going to want to just clear the baked data. Um, it's the dynamic. So I baked the pre-computed real-time GI, and it's huge. It's it was like hundreds of megs per file, uh, which looks really nice for PC. Obviously mobile, not so much. So I cleared the baked data for that. Um, so that, that got rid of it, which does make your scene quite red. So you may want to go through and just maybe tone this down a little bit just to kind of get the look that you want. So it's not going to look as fancy pants with the without the GI, like you won't get the nice underlighting and stuff like that. But um, you still get more or less the, uh, the effect, especially for a smaller screen. I don't think it's overly noticeable. Um, so that's the first bit. Once you have that done, you should be able to build a file over no problem um, and get it up and running. Um, to optimize it a little bit, if you go to your FPS controller, open up the first person character, um, you'll see in here I have a whole bunch of scripts um, just to get a, a little bit of this uh, look and, and whatnot. Um, the one I find mobile really hates is things like ambient occlusion, um, depth of field, and uh, screen space reflections. The sun shafts work pretty well on my uh, S6, so again, kind of depends what. Um, um, devices you want to um, support. Uh, Anti-aliasing I got rid of as well just because it's a smaller screen so it wasn't as noticeable. Um, I left the tone mapping because that's kind of what gives it the nice um, colors but I mean you could probably just play around with the lighting and, and all that um, and it's still you know fairly nice without it um, and I like me some bloom so I left my bloom on and the sun shafts work on the on mobile as well um, for newer devices anyways. So that was that um, and finally if you're still having some frame rate issues and all that um, I do recommend you go through and use Unity's Occlusion Calling. Um, I didn't bake out any of the scenes uh, by default. Not really sure why, just I, I didn't actually do it. Um, so it's running fine on the PC. But if you are finding um, it is a little choppy and whatnot on mobile, I do recommend you open this guy up and um, you keep the default settings at first and then play around with them later on um, and just bake your data. Now, by default, um, I think I set everything or most things, aside from the water, to, um, to static, which means that they will be included in this uh, occlusion data. And things like these clouds and these really far away terrain assets, they're just going to fill up a lot of extra data, and there's not a ton of geo. You can bake the whole scene. It will take a, a little bit of time. But if you want, you can select all the different assets that you feel um, are going to be on screen most of the time anyway. So I did the clouds and um, this terrain stuff back here. And uh, under the inspector, under the, uh, the static flag, I just took off occluder. And um, occluder you might be able to keep on, but I definitely took off occluder. And um, once you have that off, you can say yes to children, go back to your occlusion and uh, bake on that. And uh, it will 
Yeah, I guess it will still do the clouds, but um, it will take some time. So once you have that done, uh, the occlusion calling will work nice and and um, you know uh, run a little bit better. Um, and that was it. Once I got that done, I was able to um, make an APK, throw it on my uh, my Samsung, and uh, it ran quite nice, um, especially for the the size of this, you know, this is a pretty big uh, area for a mobile game uh, with quite a lot of detail too. So, um, you know, after that, it'll be up to you of uh, design choices and all that to make it run a little bit better. But uh, thanks for picking up the pack, and I hope this was a good enough mini little tutorial for um, what I did.